morning. Today is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it uh, this morning. Amen. We want to talk about walking in the Spirit, walking after the Spirit, walking after the Spirit. Uh, Romans 8 verses 1 and 2 say, Therefore, there is now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, because through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit who gives life has set you free from sin and death. There's no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after, amen, the Spirit of God, amen. You know, sin will take one's life and turn it topsy-turvy. It will um, take your attitude. It will um, take your attitude down. It will make you uh, sad instead of happy. It will make you um, look uh, at life with the wrong attitude. You will... Uh, be depressed and downhearted and uh, set in despair while obedience to the Spirit of God, following God's Spirit, following Jesus the Christ, brings life, brings abundant life, brings that zoe that Jesus talks about. I came that they might have life and have it to the full. Christ came for us to have life. You don't have to walk around downhearted. You don't have to walk around with your head down. Get your head up. Put a smile on your face. Go forward. God is with you. This is life that they might know you, the only wise God, and your son, Jesus the Christ, whom thou hast sent. That is the prayer, part of the prayer that Jesus prayed for us, that we would have life to the full. Not just life, the bios life, not just life, just living physically, but the zoe life, the abundant life, that life that is to the full. Do not let sin, do not allow sin to make your attitude bad. Do not allow your hatred of others, your, your little petty pet sins to send you into a deep funk or depression. God wants you positive because God wants to use you to draw others to himself. There is joy in following the Lord. There is joy in following after the Spirit. And so I invite you this morning, experience God's joy today. Experience God's joy, the joy that he gives, not as the world gives, but as only God gives. He gives that life abundantly and walk in it. Walk deeper and deeper into Christ Jesus today that you may experience joy, and that life eternal <clears throat> that we experience <clears throat> with our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. God bless you this, mo this morning. I want you to go with God today. Be blessed. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you. We thank you for life eternal. We thank you, Lord, that we don't have to bow down to sin or evil, that we can, we are overcomers, oh God, that you have our back, that even in the midst of the darkness, you shine your light in the darkness and it shines through us. It shines from the inside of us. It shines in our minds. Shine on, Jesus. Shine today in our hearts and minds that we, we may be your people, that we would follow in your way and trust 
only you. Not trust what we think, that we would come out, somebody out there, Lord God, is suffering from depression right now. Touch right now. Somebody out there is suffering from a financial issue. Somebody out there is suffering from sickness right now. Touch their body right now. Touch their hearts and minds right now. That they may be healed, healthy, and whole, and delivered. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we pray. And for your glory, we say together, amen, amen, amen. God bless you and keep you is my prayer this morning. Remember, Pastor Phil loves you, but God loves you infinitely more. Be blessed today. Bye now.